you know, uh, you guys that have been following me for a long time, I normally don't do double uploads. I don't normally do two videos a day. Um, but but this was important for me to talk about today because I grew up watching this individual. Oh, God damn. Oh, yes. Paul Bearer. Um, sadly passed away today. And in all honesty, th this hits me hard, man. Th this hits me as hard as when I found out when Eddie died and when I found out that Chris Benoit died before the whole, you know, he murdered his family type of deal. This, this hits me hard. And the reason why it hits me hard is because Paul Bearer, as a manager, had to be one of the greatest managers of all time in the professional wrestling business. And that's the thing. We, we don't have managers today that are like a Paul Bearer, that do the stuff that Paul Bearer did. As a manager, Paul Bearer did his darnest to make sure all of us was scared as hell, to make sure all of us were entertained. He managed to add more to the presence of, of one of the greatest superstars of all time in The Undertaker. He added that extra image. Undertaker didn't talk. Undertaker didn't need to really talk. He only had to say a couple words. But the guy that, you know, spilled it all for us, the guy that made it seem like The Undertaker was more scarier, was that man Paul Bearer himself. You just saw Paul Bearer there, and he was saying these words about the dead man's coming to get you. That your soul is going to be gone. That you don't know what it's like to face the Undertaker. You were scared of this man. The stuff that he would say would scare you. And then, not only helping the Undertaker in his career, possibly one of the greatest big men in our business today, and in general today, Kane. He created a career of two guys in Kane and Undertaker, and two, two legends, you could say, in the professional wrestling business, especially when you're going down to the big man category, you guys cannot tell me straight with your face that you don't think Kane or Undertaker are both legends in this business. Paul Bearer helped create those guys. And to me, it's just sad that, you know, he's gone. We're never going to get to see Paul Bearer anymore. We're never going to see or, I mean, hear his voice again. I mean, Paul Bearer. You just think about that. We we like to talk about, most of us here, that wrestling sucks today because it's PG. But do you want to know why wrestling sucks today? You really want to know the true reason? It's because we don't have characters like fucking Paul Bearer anymore in the business. We don't have guys like Paul Bearer that go above and beyond their original boundaries of characters. To entertain us or to scare us or to bring different elements to that goddamn ring. That's what Paul Bearer did every single week. Every single week, he would try to find something new for us. He would try to find something to, to either scare us or just entertain us all around. Paul Bearer was that type of guy. He put in a lot of work. Yeah, sure, he didn't really wrestle that much in the ring. But what he did is something that most managers like AJ Lee can't do today. And that's entertain. Paul Bearer is someone that is going to be a Hall of Famer, where it's WWE, where it's all the other Hall of Fames outside in this world. He is a Hall of Famer. He is a legend. And it sucks that he had to pass away. Sad. You know, I was watching just, just now, watching Paul Bearer stuff. Just because I love the guy. He, 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 it, he is one of the reasons, I don't know why, but he, he is one of the few reasons why I watch wrestling. The character of Paul Bearer and The Undertaker were interesting to me. The character of Stone Cold was interesting to me too. The character of The Rock. Those guys were interesting to me. You know? Character of Shawn Michaels. You know, Shawn Michaels was more in the Paul Bearer era, so maybe I should have said him. Characters of... Well, I'm not really going to say that character. You guys probably don't know who I'm talking about anyways. But that's what, that's what the wrestling business is missing today. When you look at what Paul Bearer brought to the table as just a manager, just a manager, he was just a simple manager in this sport. 
you will see that there is more missing in this wrestling business than it just being PG. There is something missing in this business. And all I really got to say is rest in peace to William Moody, a.k.a. Perry Pringle, a.k.a. Paul Bear. A lot of wrestling fans are going to miss you. In fact, I'm missing you right now. I'm going to be watching a bunch of Paul Bear shit. That's all basically. I was going to play Madden. You can see in the background. I was like, playing Madden, having a good time. But I heard this shit, and I was literally upset. And it's just sad because we got the Undertaker coming back. You know. And you thought Paul Bearer could be, you know, one of the few guys to induct the Undertaker. Man, dude, it just it just hits there when you think about it. I'm trying my hardest not to cry on camera, but Paul Bearer to me, it's a legend. And Paul Bearer to me represents some of the missing characters in professional wrestling today. And he is the reason why, with a few, many other people. It's not just Paul Bearer. There's guys like Macho Man. Guys like the Ultimate Warrior. Got many different characters in the past is the reason why wrestling was successful. And Paul Bearer, to me, was one of those few people. And I'll miss him. I'm going to miss his short little appearances. And I believe the last time we saw Paul Bearer, he was put inside of an ice chest by Kane or something. I think that's the last time we saw Paul Bearer. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. But that, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys can comment down below your thoughts on Paul Bearer. I, I kind of, you know, summed up that he made a great impact in professional wrestling. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. And hopefully, you know, it's just going to, it just sucks, okay? I'm sorry. I took this long, long enough. You guys like me for some odd reason in this video because just subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on Paul Bearer. Um, do you feel I was right when he was talking about, when I was talking about, you know, Paul Bearer being one of the few people today that, you know, made wrestling and that, he was, he's the, like, there's a lot of characters missing in wrestling, just like a Paul Bearer, some, something different, something unique towards other groups of wrestlers. If not, leave your counter argument. I, I really don't care. I'm just out of here. See you all later. Follow me on Twitter. You know the deal. At Chase Lover 68.